Hello friends, it's Ina and welcome to a new video. As you can see on the title, I got a phone upgrade from an iPhone 11. I upgraded to an iPhone 13 Pro and I got the graphite color. Instead of doing the usual phone unboxing, I thought that I would do something more fun and I want to hang out with you today and decorate my new phone and share what's on my iPhone 13 Pro. At first, I wasn't a fan of the side, but I appreciate it now, especially when I remove it from the case and place it beside my laptop. It looks really sleek. So now let's decorate my phone with me. This is the finished case and I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out. <laughs> so again, this is my iPhone and I have an iPhone 13 Pro in graphite with 128 gigabytes of memory and now I'm going to show you what's inside it. This is my lock screen and I just got the photo from Naver. It's from the website graphfolio.naver.com. So basically my iPhone is just pretty much minimal. As in I don't like to keep anything on the main page. So I just keep everything that I want because first I want to see the home screen photo that I have and the home screen photo that I have is just a film photo that I took in Hong Kong when I went in 2019. Most of the time it's a photo of my crush of my favorite artist so I just changed that just because. <laughs> Before we proceed to the things on my home screen I'm gonna share with you the widgets that I have. So I just keep the batteries here this is for my phone this is for my apple watch and the weather and i have a spotify um, widget in here so i like making very specific playlists on spotify so if you want to follow as you can see there's really not much to my home screen because i want to keep it clean <laughs> first there's a calendar and there's the photos i'm going to show you the phone photo situation that I have in here. Anyway, the next uh, app that I have in here is the settings app. And then we have a folder here. I just like to keep what I need on the home page. And these are what I use the most. I have my notes, Notion, the clock app, uh, the watch app, because I have the watch. And then I just have my reminders app. Here down below, I just have Safari, the camera app, I have YouTube music, and then I have Spotify, of course. This was the last song that I played on this phone, and this is one of my most favorite playlists. <laughs> now, these are just all of the apps that I keep, and I pretty much don't have a lot of apps on my phone I guess so everything that I need I just swipe here or just search for it here for my uh, socials app I just have discord this I use for work Facebook FaceTime I don't really use FaceTime um, I have Instagram Kakao talk LinkedIn listen and then i have my messages app if you're gonna send a message on instagram or on messenger so if there's something urgent you have to text me or give me a call <laughs> and then i have messenger and then i have paper young which i need to delete because i don't use that anymore and then i have my phone app telegram i use this for carpool and then i just have twitter 
Then I have Viber because this is where we used to communicate at work and we still use it from time to time. For my social media, I have notifications off aside from Facebook, I think. So Instagram, Messenger, Twitter, all the notifications are blocked off because I'm very specific with my screen time <laughs> and then for creativity I just have my camera foodie this is where I edit my photos from my journal and then Fonto I use for putting watermark on my photos on my journal page and then I have photos app PixArt this is what I use when I collage um, thumbnails and photos or I have to blur backgrounds or people and then I used to draw on Procreate Pocket on my phone when I didn't have my iPad yet. I have Rimini because I like to download photos and keep them as wallpaper and sometimes they're not high quality so I use this to make them HD and wallpaper friendly. Then I have snow and soda if I want to take photos with filters. Velo, I used to edit on my phone and YouTube studio. And then for productivity, I just have the calendar, contacts, done. This is an app that I use, a habit tracker app that I use for my Apple Watch. And then I have Drive, Files, Focus, another app that I use on my watch, Gmail. I also have my notifications off for Gmail. Notes, Notion, Reminders, Zoom, just in case I need to go on a call using my phone, which I rarely do. Shopping and food, I have Shopee, Food Panda, Watsons, and Lazada. And then for entertainment, I have um, Netflix, SoundCloud, Spotify, TikTok, which I only mainly use for work, but you can follow me because I create content too from time to time I guess <laughs> and then I have VLive, Webtoon, YouTube and YouTube Music for finance these are the boring stuff now I just have my banks in here PayPal, Wallet uh, the basics and then I have the utilities uh, probably the mostly used um, app in here is settings, Safari voice memos, watch, measure, clock and that's pretty much it and the last no not the last and then for information and reading i have papago weather and ibooks and then others i have google home me home for our wi-fi extender <laughs> pinterest sanctuary because i like to read my horoscope every day and then i have kuntori this is what you use for tracking the military days left because there are members of EXO war serving in the military right now. Next is health and fitness. So I have the health app Flow, which tracks my period, and I've been using this since college. I've been using this for years. These are my activity app for my Apple Watch. Then I have Stoic. Stoic? I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it just gives you one wise quote every day and I use it for my watch as well and then for travel I just have maps ways and Google Maps so as you can see I don't have any games or other fun widgets on my f I just keep what I need and I'm very strict with my screen time so I'm out of my phone all the time and that's pretty much it for my what's on my iPhone 13 Pro and thank you for hanging out with me today I hope that this video helped you get to know me more and I'll see you again in my next video that's probably gonna be in 2022 and I hope that you'll have a very happy new year and I hope you enjoyed your holidays and I'll see you in my next video